In a previous video, I tested chargers to find out what wattage they were putting out, but I didn't test the actual time that it took for each charger to charge the phone. And a big comparison here is between an 18 watt charger and a 20 watt charger. So in this video, I'm gonna go over the test results that I have for how long it took to charge a completely empty iPhone 12 using an 18 watt charger and a 20 watt charger. Okay, so what you need to know is that the iPhone is only capable of charging at up to 20 watts. You can use a higher wattage charger, but the iPhone is only gonna draw a maximum of 20 watts. So for this test, I had an 18 watt charger. This is the charger that comes with an iPad Pro. And then I had a 65 watt charger. Again, the iPhone is only gonna charge up to 20 watts. So the test really here is to see whether an 18 watt charger is gonna be different than a 20 watt plus charger. Okay, quick explanation on the testing process. I completely drained my iPhone, then I plugged this USB-C multimeter into one of the chargers, and then I plugged a USB-C cable into the multimeter and plugged the other end, the lightning end, into the iPhone. And this multimeter allowed me to test what the wattage was, so how, how much power was the iPhone actually drawing? And it also let me, there's a timer on it so I could see how long it was at each interval. So at 10 minute intervals, I checked to see what percentage of the battery had been charged and what wattage the iPhone was charging at at that interval. And these are the results. Testing 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, they were all exactly the same. 23% at 10 minutes, 43% at 20 minutes, 60% at half an hour. And then at 40 minutes, we had 72%. And what was interesting is that the wattages were slightly different, but quite similar at the different intervals. I didn't keep testing after 40 minutes because it didn't really matter. They were both charging at less than the high wattage charger, only nine watts. Something that's interesting is that they both took about an hour and 40 minutes to get to 100%, but they still continued to charge after that at about half a watt until about two and a half to three hours. So based on these test results, there's really no difference between charging your phone with an 18 watt charger or 20 watt or higher charger. Now, another caveat about this is that if you're using a higher wattage charger, your battery on your phone is just naturally going to get hotter as you fast charge your phone. These higher wattage chargers might not actually be the best choice for in terms of long-term battery health if you're using it to say like charge your phone overnight. In that case, you might want to try sticking to using like an old school, like five watt charger or 10 watt charger, the one with the USB-A uh, connector and a lightning connector for your phone. I think that way you'd end up reducing the amount of heat that you build up with your phone when you're charging your battery and just probably increase overall battery health and longevity. That's just speculation. When I was charging these phones, I did test to see what temperature they were getting up to. And it was about 31, 32 degrees Celsius or about 89 to 91 degrees Fahrenheit. So not too hot, but still, if that's happening every single day, maybe that's gonna affect long-term battery health. Okay, you will find links to an 18 watt and a 20 watt charger in the description. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for future videos. All right, thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.